Hi friend! Today I thought I'd share with you a different kind of video. A vlog style video. I'm going to take my second dose of my COVID vaccination. So uh, I thought you could join me on my journey and I'll show you my symptoms and how I feel after the vaccination and things. So let's go. Leaving the house now. <laughs> defrosted and we're all set to go. Yay! My children are off school. Um, although we're still in tier four, uh, we can mix households. That was some dry ice. I need to be really careful. <laughs> Slippery ice. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, although we are in tier four, we can mix, mix households only for childcare reasons. So I've dropped my children off to my friends and I'm just going to the hospital to get my vaccination. I'll see you at the hospital now. So I finally got home after the vaccination. I've had it on my left arm here. And it's just as any vaccination, a bit sore as a needle goes in, but still hardly anything. And it's been about three hours now and I feel still feel absolutely fine. Just had to go to the shops and go to the library and things before we got home. So it took a little while to get home, but uh, yeah, still feeling fine. It's about four and a half hours after the vaccination. Uh, we've just stopped to have some lunch and things. It's about half two in the afternoon. Uh, feel starting to feel a bit tired, uh, so I thought I'd get the dinner ready before it's too late and I can't cook. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do, do next. And 45 minutes later, I've uh, made some Chinese style uh, chicken sauce and uh, to go with some egg fried rice. And it's about six hours after my injection and I still feel fine. The arm's a bit heavy, but that's about it. So it's about 9 p.m. now. Uh, it's about 11 hours after my uh, COVID vaccine and Boris has just announced uh, the lockdown in England an hour ago. Uh, my arm feels absolutely fine. In the afternoon my whole, whole arm was here hurting but now it's just very much back to the uh, injection site. So uh, that's the injection and I'll just show you the site and there there is a There's a little bit of bruising around the site, but uh, that's it. And it, it feels absolutely fine, really. Uh, after the first vaccination, my arm was really sore the night. And uh, the next day, my body was sore as well. So I'll let you know tomorrow morning how I feel. Uh, but this already feels better than the first round of vaccination. So I'll see you in the morning. Morning, everyone. So this is on... Tuesday morning so that's one day after my injection and I feel absolutely fine. In the night my arm was slightly sore especially when I lay on that side uh, but and also uh, slightly painful when I extremes of moment just around there it's slightly painful uh, but otherwise it's mostly fine. If I show you my injection site looks absolutely fine maybe slightly just where the needle went and you can see it's slightly red but otherwise there's no redness around the area it's not lumpy it's not swollen uh, feels absolutely fine like I was telling you after the first dose of the injection my arm was a bit more so the second time round it is better uh, after the first injection my whole body was sore as well but that was just for one day and a day two second two days after the injection I felt absolutely fine. I know there's been a lot of bad press about the vaccination especially on the social media and things but as you can tell I've I've had a few symptoms, a little bit of body aches and pains, but it's a small price for, to pay uh, for not being in a sick in a hospital bed uh, and maybe even on a ventilator who knows. Boris Johnson has announced last night at 8 p.m. that UK is going into a national lockdown again just because of the growing number of cases and if the current trend continues the NHS will be overwhelmed and schools across England and Wales and Scotland are closed from today. Our school was due to open only next 
next week on Monday, but uh, now that has been postponed till the February half term. So the earliest the schools will open is around the 22nd of February. So that is a really long gap for the children and the parents who need to work from home or the children, parents who need to go to work and things. So a lot of people have been affected in so many different ways because of this pandemic. And now it looks like having the vaccination is the only way forward so we can have a COVID-free world and have the life that we used to have, hug our friends when we meet them, so the children can be back in school and meet their friends and do all the beautiful learning that the school comes with, so we can continue traveling and see the world, so I can fly across the world and meet my elderly parents, That so that I, being a vulnerable person, can be can re resume work feeling not being frightened for my life. So let's all do our little part and uh, let's get this vaccination as, as soon as it's available to us. So I hope this video has given you a little bit of inspiration to show you that having the vaccination is really not that bad. If this has helped you in any way, I do not want you to like or subscribe, but please share this with your friends and let's get this word across and get this vaccination and get back to a COVID-free world as soon as we can. Uh, stay safe. Bye-bye.